the reason I switched, my first phone was stolen and I had to look for other plans. And I didn't like all the contracts. I didn't like all the fine print. I wanted something much simpler. No. no. I use it for emergencies and when I travel. Well, I like to stay in national parks and I call my family to let them know where I am so that they know I'm still there and on my way and they can check every day and find out where I am. I was really surprised when I was in Alaska because I was in very remote areas, out on glaciers and out on docks and everywhere I went I was able to get, get phone service, even in canyons and deserts and in Alaska. <laughs> It's the only thing I could afford, and it's up to me how much I want to spend and how much I want to use it. I have a landline at home. I can't get a dial tone most of the time, and when I do, I have static so bad that sometimes I can't hear anyone. So I keep a phone at home, and I keep a phone in the car. I go to senior citizen centers and I hear complaints about the newer phones with so many features that they're frustrated. So I tell them about the Net 10 phones and how easy it is to use them and how easy it is to replace the minutes. I do it online now, but I like the fact that I can go into a local store and buy a card if I needed to. I find my airtime cards at Walmart and Target and almost every town I'm in has one or the other. Then they have the carryover. So because I don't use it very often at here, I had a lot of minutes that carried over so I could use them on my trip. In all the years I've had the Net 10 phones, I've never talked to a customer service rep. I've never had any need to.